Aaron Hafaj Road. Uchtron Agus Sabina, Uchtron Barry Agasana, President, Michael D. Higgins and Sabina, you are so welcome to the University of Limerick and we are so honoured to have you with us. And what we have done is to attempt, at any rate, uh, a miraculous transformation of what is sometimes a foyer and we've turned it in, in a way to a sanctuary for the time of year that's in it. And we've put together an informal programme of about a half an hour of music and dance that I really hope you enjoy. Um, with uh, my colleagues, some of my colleagues from the Irish World Academy and some of the students from the various programmes. Um, you have the programme here, so I'm not going to burden you with details of the pieces or titles or the, or the, or, or the performers, but we're going to start straight away with uh, some colleagues of mine and Academus Irish World Academy strings with Monteverdi Psalm 150 to welcome you.
Uh, thank you very much. Um, behind you, President, if you incline slightly to the left, you will see that gathered in front of you uh, some of our students from the BA Irish Music and Dance Program and other traditional music and dance programs. And indeed, seated in the middle is definitely not a Clare or a Galway or a Limerick man. Matthew Noon, in fact, is from Australia and is an expert on Indian Sarod playing. So he's actually started a, a bit of a craze here with what we might call Hiberno-Indian music. Not sure if it's a first, but he has taught the rest of the class some Indian music and they're actually going to play it out of their own Irish traditional performance style and move on to other elements, a song from Derry, a dance from South Uist in the Hebrides, finishing with a reel.
another program president that complements the traditional performing arts which are so strong at the academy is one we're also very very proud of uh, ba voice and dance which uh, which reads as b-a-v-a-d which of course is bavat so it's a new word and the students like to call themselves the bavats so the bavads directed by oscar mascarenas my lovely colleague from mexico are going to sing two songs oscar's going to start with a solo song from mexico and then continue on with the group Qué bonitos ojos tienes debajo de esas dos cejas debajo de esas dos cejas qué bonitos ojos tienes ellos me quieren mirar pero si tú no los dejas Pero si tú no los dejas, ni siquiera parpadear. Malaguería salerosa, besar tus labios quisiera ver. Besar tus labios quisiera Y decirte, niña hermosa, que eres linda y hechicera, que eres Y la 
And perhaps, President and Sabina, I might offer you a short solo piano piece for myself from the Wexford tradition, a tune I think you probably know well, uh, the Wexford Carl. <clears throat> And we're going to end <coughs> the assembled group with a carl which comes from a Dublin manuscript in Trinity College, Dublin, from approximately 1600. An English carl, English language carl, with a, with, a, with, a, with a Latin chorus and with some carl dancing as well in it.
Autron Hezkeyes Ares Where could the Himni is Colore Choctitola is in a Norca Colli Eliot of Firkin of Sarah Benchark as a Gaital Chess is Minna, but we can support a Mahan Hayanus and a summit that came Saudi Asaf. I saw them for your daddy should rule. Our Peter Harin Radel Yatam on a wheel, thus locked on cultures and cure. Hannah's and Thomas's Cochran. President, may I say that I am so moved by what I have just seen and heard. It's so important, and you must be very, very proud to have this wonderful leaven in the university system. Uh, I remember very clearly when uh, in those early conversations with Dr. Uh, Mihal when he was thinking of establishing here in Limerick. And the word that uh, occurs to me uh, over all those years is to what a leaven it would be in a university. And it, it has been like that uh, from the time I remember that the Jim Orchestra came to Limerick and the effect it had on all of the surrounding area, but very particularly uh, in the title itself uh, is wonderful, uh, the title of the, the Irish World Academy of Music and Dance. Uh, it's the version of globalisation that makes the heart lift in the same way, if you like, that the globalization of speculation and its unremitting threats to everything that is human makes the heart sometimes fragile. And in these broken and threatening times, it's wonderful uh, to come and hear the, not just the expression, uh, but the excellence of the human spirit that is contained in the rendering of, of music, in the nature of the voice and in movement, and many reasons I have uh, think that it, it is the best version of our future that we might possibly uh, uh, aspire to. Uh, as Mihal Asuno knows, uh, uh, the affection I have uh, for all of this entire project. Um, indeed, I have uh, uh, been recently making selections for uh, what will be part of a Christmas message, and I have uh, used part of his own composition for our own, our own on Turkish, and uh, I'm very grateful for that uh, as well. Um, the other side of this, which is interesting, I'm just after coming uh, from another great place of the human spirit, uh, St. Munchen's Community Hall, uh, which people come and work at four o'clock in the morning to prepare lunches for 500 children who are attending school. And I often think, and it is no empty idealistic aspiration, uh, that what if every child uh, could go to school uh, without feeling any hunger, and if every child had access to a musical instrument, and if every child had the freedom and the movement to be able to engage with the movement of the human body without fear, and also to be able to join with others in listening to their songs, be their songs of joy, of hope, or loss, of great celebration. And to be able, therefore, but the interesting side of it is the place was packed with people who look after people who are preschool, people who are elderly, and so on. And then to come across the city and find that there is a place that has the magnificent title at the heart of a university called the Irish World Academy of Music and Dance. All I say to uh, somebody who was a university teacher for a great deal of my life, President, is that if I wanted to wish you to have a heart in university, I don't think you could have a better one. Uh, I think that the reputation of our country abroad, one that we now seek to repair and expand and so on, Sometimes it is said that the time has come, perhaps, for uh, the cultural area. All I know is this, is that it is when you do it for yourself, 
Air Queen culture is regarded as countless nabun clucking and cultor toshet of. It is when it is done for yourself as an expression of your own heart and mind and spirit, you have lodged it in the version of citizenship that you offer intergenerationally. Well, then it becomes easy to take all of the materialist advantages of the millions of money that is spent on culture, the millions of jobs that are there, and so on. It is when it is done at home, it is when it is achieved at home, and it is when it is celebrated at home that it becomes the certain base for all of the options for the future. And what's happening here is most interesting in another way. Uh, I always felt, uh, and you're allowed it at my particular age and given my distance now from the academy to some extent, uh, to say that the universities were at their best when there weren't any boundaries. Uh, the magnificent, great, great, wonderful uh, musicologist who Edward Said said, everything that's interesting happens in the interstices. And I think it is like that. It is when the boundaries are taken away that the exciting things happen. And that's why I think as well, when I look at the sheer breadth of the program that, that is in offer here, uh, for example, the, the number of students, their wide diversity of background, the richness of culture and memory that they bring with them and their instincts. But the idea of having 14 degree programs, 14 degree programs, 12 of them postgraduate. When you think of how long, sometimes I think when I came to the University of Limerick and just driving with, to meet some of your predecessors, and I would pay tribute to them for sowing the trees. In the same way, I have paid tribute for recognizing the importance of culture and music and all of these wonderful things that would happen, not in any local or regional sense, but correctly aimed at the planet that we share, the fragile planet that whose music is, is, the, is, is truly the thing without borders. I also think as well, I'm delighted that there are old friends, your neighbours are here, uh, Abbot Mark Patrick and Tyrone, I see there, uh, are old friends of mine, uh, and your connection with Glen Stowe is a, is a valuable one. I think you are as well early practitioners in an area that I think is going to be hugely important, and that is the correct and funding application of musical therapy. I think that in contemporary dance and music education, and also utilising the presence of classical music, uh, the, their chamber orchestra on the campus would be valuable. You might notice that I have established an early procedure of not bothering with scripts anymore. <laughs> and it's part of the freedom which I promised myself in Dublin Castle a few weeks ago. I think as well, it, it, what is interesting in the different integrate, in the different admixture of, of form, uh, the whole anthropology of, of music and dance. It is of interest to us in Ireland particularly, I think, those of us who are interested in the social sciences is that what great trauma must the people have suffered if they had begun to drop their language regarding it as a charm and fortune uh, well before the famine, and then to have to face the trauma of exile and loss. But the music kept going right through the worst of our difficulties, and then it goes abroad, and with, because it is nothing inclusive, nothing exclusive or nothing forbidding, it bounces and makes and integrates with other forms of music and comes back to us. And I pay tribute to Mjorn Sulwan for that, as being one of the people who were Kjell Rodiak in this. He was a leader in this, in recognising the richness of mixture and encounter and incorporation and creativity and originality as it all happens all over again in the nature of, in the, nature of, of the world of music. I, I think that it is wonderful to be here I want to wish, may I express my gratitude, which, one must, uh, which I have the pleasure to do, uh, to all of those who performed in this, uh, this special, uh, and particularly the, if in any cases, uh, which is perfect, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, to, 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 uh, to all of you as well. Uh, this is uh, the only thing I can say into the future is this. This is the version of Irishness that is open and that is welcoming the world and look that has full of joy in it and it is celebratory because it is of the heart 
and of the spirit. It is neither empty nor false nor relying on rating agencies or anything else. The only rating agency that matters in the end is the profound sound that comes up from all of the music of the world when it is able in its different forms to tolerate each other and also promise new sounds and new shapes and new colours. That's what happens at a world centre like this. This is the globalisation that must be the globalisation of the future. And I think it will come into its very own when the two world, when the worlds of St. Manchin's Community Centre, with all the generosity of heart that is there, and all of the excellence and talent that is here from so many different places, come together to make the kind of Irishness that we all want. Gramilamar.